Hey, hey, Sammy Do coming to you live, Precious World Mobile Studios. I want to give you another golden, golden nugget. And I'm going to say this. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. <laughs> Some of you might know uh, Mr. T. He used to say, I pity the fool. And it, that's actually what I want to talk about. P-I-T-I. -I. I want to talk about the confusion of what P-I-T-I -I is. How does that work for you in your real estate business? Stay tuned. Sammy Do live from Precious World Studios. Doing it again. Dropping another golden nugget. Sammy Dew back at you, coming to you from the Precious World Mobile Office, founder of the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And uh, of the students that I have, I would tell you, I, they range from their late 40s to as young as 20 years old. And I have kind of discovered that, uh, you know, not everybody has ever bought a home before. Not everybody has ever bought a home before. And that's, we're talking about not just the real estate investing business, but just having simply bought a home. And um, even for those that have bought a home, may not really clearly understand uh, this pity, uh, this P-I-T-I. -I. And so I want to take an opportunity to try to uh, eradicate some of the confusion that I, I tend to see on some of the social posts and some of the questions that I get with regards to uh, PITI. So I'm going to just try to take an opportunity to break down uh, or go through what I would call the anatomy of PITI and then I'm going to tell to you, talk to you about those areas uh, that also are oftentimes confused by those. Uh, so let me just show you here on the whiteboard when I talk about P-I-T-I. What are we talking about? P-I-T-I. -I. And what does that mean? P-I-T-I. -I. Well, let's just, um, let me uh, just cover one thing first. Uh, if you are trying to get your first deal in your real estate investing business or even your second deal or just simply trying to get a trend going in your business, you need that help. You don't have a mentor, never had a mentor or the mentors you had didn't do well with you. Uh, this is what this channel is all about. We are a coaching and mentoring channel. Uh, we're not necessarily talking to you about the details of the real estate business and all the different strategies there. We're trying to get into your head from a coaching standpoint and then mentoring you on some of the golden nuggets that you won't necessarily find on social media. And so you actually are looking and you do recognize that you need a coaching mentor. Feel free to hit the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline link in the description of this video. You can set up a 30 minute free consult with me directly, not a salesperson, but with me. And we can talk to you about your business and what, what, what kind of things need to be done. And if you want a longer term relationship with me, you know, being your mentor and your coach and things of that nature, what that would look like and what I would require. Uh, so let's talk about PITI. All right. So uh, we're going to first of all, just go ahead and break down what is PITI. So the first P is what we call principle principle the I is what we call interest the T is taxes And the I is insurance.
And all of this makes up what you would call when you own a property and you have a mortgage on the property, this is what makes up your mortgage. For those that's never owned a home, uh, when you buy a home, you no longer pay rent, you pay mortgage. Uh, that's for my younger students, uh, just to be very clear. But I want to kind of cover these items in a little more detail. And I went into my library of properties that I've done deals on and I was able to bring out a uh, find a, um, a a mortgage statement I blacked out some of the more personal items and I do want to call out a few things if you can see the uh, where I'm at over here uh, the line that talks about the principal and interest which this mortgage uh, is twelve hundred and ninety six dollars and ninety three cents for this uh, that's what's what is the principal the P and the I and then you'll see the section that says county tax that is obviously the tax and we'll have to talk about how that how that kind of works as you'll see in this case county tax says six hundred and thirty two dollars and thirteen cent but you have to also understand that that's for that month they normally would take tax and prorate it over a 12 month and break it down in the, in the 12 month increments and that would be that portion and then the next I is the insurance which is primarily talking about what it says here is the MIP and I'll tell you a little bit that's you know it can either be an MIP or PMI MIP is the uh, mortgage insurance premium uh, primarily for uh, FHA type loans and when you're making a down payment of less than 20 percent you you'll have to have an insurance for that uh, but if you got a conventional loan it'll be PMI private mortgage insurance and this is an insurance on the loan which is much different than uh, on the home so uh, I'm gonna get a little bit more detail on that but I want to kind of just go one by one on how is, why is this important to you as a real estate investor and what are some of the the pros and some of the interests that you would have as to knowing knowing this information so first of all in real estate wholesaling you may not think that you uh, will have a mortgage because typically in the wholesaling you you're, you're not dealing with mortgages but you know, you got to also understand that wholesaling is just one strategy. There are multiple strategies, 12 to 15 of, you know, different types of strategies when it comes to uh, real estate investing and acquisitions and things of that nature. And when you're talking like, for instance, in the sub two strategy, this, this particular situation is very, 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 very important. Uh, and you also have to understand that in a mortgage, not all of these components exist and that's the interesting thing that's why you have to pay attention and look at the statement so you know what you're getting into sometimes uh, you can find a mortgage that when you get the actual statement like this you'll find that it only has principal and interest now generally speaking you won't find anything less than those two items uh, which basically means that the owner has to pay the taxes separately whereas um, if it's included in the mortgage uh, they'll pay taxes in their mortgage and that those taxes are put into what's called an escrow account um, and uh, from the escrow account taxes are paid on the property if the mortgage doesn't have an escrow account for the taxes then the taxes are paid by the owner in, in a more direct fashion depending on the county and where they are uh, if they get a bill they have to pay it all at once and you know of course certain counties might work out a, a payment plan or whatnot and then that of course is not included if the taxes are not rolled in it is not included so you're not really dealing with PITI you're only dealing with PI uh, now, sometimes you could have, have a, a mortgage like this, that is PIT, where it's principal, interest, and taxes only, not necessarily having the insurance part of it. 
it's, I know it's very rare and very strange, uh, but sometimes that can happen. This is why it's important when you're, you know, when you're dealing with a mortgage that you have to actually look at the mortgage to know what it all includes. And here's the area that I find folks are most confused about, and that is the insurance section. The insurance section, um, I want to be very, very clear. First of all, I have a legal obligation personally because I am actually a licensed insurance agent and broker in the state of Texas and California. So by the legal regulatory uh, requirements of me having to disclose that information because I'm speaking on an insurance product, I'm meeting legal requirements by letting you know I'm in the licensed insurance broker in the state of Texas and in the state of California. So that disclosure is out there. Now, let's talk about the insurance. Um, generally speaking, the insurance that is being referenced is insurance on the mortgage, on the, on the mortgage itself not on the house notice in this statement that both mip as well as homeowners insurance is included in this particular statement that is not always the case that is not always the case and what you also have to understand that, that those are two different insurance products insurance on the more and th this is what everybody gets confused this is where i won't say everybody but just a lot of folks kind of get confused when they are asking about insurance um insurance for the mortgage simply exists for the purposes of the mortgage company if you were to default for some reason that you cannot pay your mortgage on your home or, or the property this insurance makes sure uh, that that it's taken care of. So let's just say, uh, for instance, the, the house burns down and for whatever reason, the family, you know, discontinues making mortgage payments, things of that nature, because they figure there's no more house. Well, they had the mortgage insurance. In this case, the uh, the mortgage insurance premium because it's an FHA loan. I won't get into all the details of the different types of loans, FHA versus conventional, VA and all that. I won't get into all that, but just for the keeping it simple, for the insurance on the loan, all that is basically if you default where you cannot pay that loan for whatever reason, that insurance takes care of that mortgage, okay? It doesn't take care of the house. Whereas homeowner's insurance takes care of the house, doesn't take care of the mortgage. If the house burns down, homeowner's insurance basically is there where you can kind of get the house restored, right? If the mortgage, uh, if the house burns down and they stop paying on the mortgage, because that's still going to be a requirement, that's where that insurance uh, for the mortgage is taking care of the mortgage. So when we're talking about insurance on the property, let's say you're buying a rental or something of that nature, and you're talking insurance, you want to be very clear and understand that there's a huge difference between homeowner's insurance and mortgage insurance. Very plainly, when you are getting a mortgage on a property, their main concern is mortgage on the loan. They're more after mortgage on the loan. Do you have a mortgage that if something happens to you or something going on, that the loan is going to be taken care of? And they would normally require uh, insurance on the loan. That's on the mortgage itself, not on the house. Now, if some companies might ask to also provide proof that you have insurance on the house as well. But generally speaking, they're more concerned about the mortgage being paid off and taken care of. And that's why the insurance on the mortgage is different than the insurance on the house. This is an area that is confused the most, uh, even with some seasoned players, because I guess, you know, it's insurance industry or whatnot. But let me just run down really quickly some of these, these components as to why it's interest to you. What's good about principle is when you own a property and let's say that 
uh, whether you're owning it as a home or even as an investor. Understand that the principle, uh, every time you make a principle, let's see, the loan on this one was, uh, the original loan was like 200 and, where's my finger at here? The original, origination of the loan was $263,000. And uh, their current balance is here, but the, the mortgage payment is $1,200, right? And that includes principal and interest. Well, if you want to pay this off, and if I recall correctly, this doesn't really talk about it, but this was an actual 30-year mortgage. And if you actually really do the math, uh, you know, 12 months times 30 years each, uh, or 12 months, per year times 30 years, you'll find that this will add up to be a lot more than that. This is where the banks make their money. They make their money on the interest part. And generally speaking, when you're paying a mortgage, uh, a good portion of the funds are going to uh, the interest itself as and then the other part is going to the principal. The banks make their money on the interest. Now, how can you pay less on on here i'm sorry how can you pay less here without paying so much more because I, I you know i'm just going to do some quick funny numbers in my head but this is probably if they went the whole 30 years of paying that rate at 1200 to 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 deal with this two hundred sixty thousand dollars, it's probably going to be somewhere closer to you know 400 450 thousand dollars they end up paying for the home if they route it out for the entire 30 years so how can you get around that? Well, and this is what a lot of good seasoned investors do. They would actually make what we call uh, payments that are principal only. So you're going to be required to pay the first payment, uh, which goes towards their principal and interest. interest. But if you want to really accelerate paying off the property, you can also add additional funds and you have to make sure that you put on the funds that this is principal only. So now you're paying uh, on the principal and the balance, this balance here goes down much quicker because this balance is not including the interest, by the way. This balance does not include the interest. This $263,000 does not include the interest. This is all principal right here. That number right there, all principal. It has nothing to do with the interest. Interest would probably make that, like I said, $450,000. You can see the 4.25% rate, and we can do the math, and I'm not worried about that. That's not the point. The point that I'm making is you can make payments towards the principal, but you will have to make sure that when you make those payments on top of your 1296, and let's say you want to add maybe another $600 to it, you just want to make sure you, you put on that check that this is principal only. So... Uh, if you're making an $1,800 payment, for instance, $1,200 plus the $600, you want to make sure that extra $600 is principal only. This will allow you to pay this off sooner. Oftentimes, if you pay the twice this, let's say you make $2,400 payments on this, and you make sure that the other $1,296 is principal only, you can normally, general rule of thumb, you'll have that paid off in 15 years versus 30 years. That's why this is important for you because this allows you to help you build equity in a property. All right, I know that was a little technical, but I wanted to hopefully make sure you got to understand that. Why is interest important? Interest is important because when you're filing your taxes, you don't pay taxes on any interest payments that you've made. So interest, the amount of interest that you've paid is deductible from your business and not only from your business, but also uh, from your home, from a personal standpoint, is also deductible from a home ownership standpoint. You don't pay taxes on interest. So you want to track the amount of interest payments that you're making because that's a tax deduction for you. So that's why that number is important. All right. Now, let's talk about taxes. I told you this one earlier. Taxes, the part of the the part of the uh, the mortgage that is taxes, and that can vary from you know county to county depending on what taxes are layered in. From you know not just county but school tax and 
uh, whatever other taxes, other regulatory taxes, whatever taxes in your county or the county that this property is in that's going to be added, it could also be rolled up in here. Now, the way this works, though, is are they sending a tax funds out of your mortgage every month as the mortgage is being paid? No, they're not. Uh, the taxes are actually going into what's called an escrow account. And an escrow account is designed for the mortgage company to identify uh, that they have the money enough to make sure that the taxes are covered so there's no tax foreclosure on the property. If it's a tax foreclosure state, it could be a tax lien state. Another, another story. But uh, the, the trick that you want to pay attention to here, first of all, is that the taxes can vary. Depending on market and the market challenges of whether the, you know, appreciations are going up, appreciations are coming down, which they can come down. 2007 going into 2008 is a great example of that. But depending on market trends, taxes can come down and taxes can go up. And the way they calculate it, they look at forecasts and then they'll say, okay, we're going to, the mortgage company say, we're going to escrow this amount because this is what the tax rate is on the property. And they'll take, you know, let's say, uh, I think on this property, the tax rate was like, um, you know, seven or eight thousand dollars for the entire year. So you divide that by 12 and that's where you get, uh, in this case, it was like uh, six hundred and thirty two dollars. All right. Uh, so what's the math on six thirty two times twelve, uh, twelve times six hundred and thirty two, um, you know, so. It's going to be about seventy two hundred dollars, seventy five, you know, seventy five hundred dollars, whatever that number is. Bottom line is you take whatever the county tax is and you can look on the county cat and see what the tax rate is. Whatever that tax rate is, you divide it by 12 and uh, a portion of it goes into the mortgage payment. And this is how they decide what they need to put in the escrow account for that year. And they reassess that every year. So in other words, if you get to the end of the year, you know, January, February comes around, whatever that cycle is, and they see that you have actually uh, paid too much in taxes because the rates went down, you would actually get a small little check back for the difference. On the same token, if you get to the end of the year, January, February comes around, and they found out that they didn't take out enough taxes, you would get an actual bill for it uh, to make up the difference. And they would probably adjust the tax rate in the mortgage to be a little higher to make sure it's being captured for the following year. So you want to pay attention to that as well. And then there's another trick that I would only talk to my students about uh, from an escrow standpoint that when we're doing sub twos, you want to make sure you definitely are paying attention to what's in escrow. Uh, so that's why this section is important. And then the next section, and I kind of already talked about this, is the insurance. And the main thing, again, is to make sure that uh, you understand the differences between the types of insurance products. Insurance, primary speaking, and PITI, the insurance they're primarily looking for is the insurance that's on the mortgage to make sure, in this case, that the $263,000 where I'm at, uh, where's my finger? Okay, up here and over here. They wanna make sure that the $263,000 is gonna be paid off on this FHA loan. And that's why the MIP or the mortgage insurance premium is there. <coughs> uh, and that's what the I is primarily for. There are sometimes requirements where they require both mortgage insurance as well as homeowners. But typically in PITI, they're primarily talking about the insurance on the mortgage itself okay and uh, very important to know because uh, from a homeowner standpoint and homeowners insurance that rate can always vary uh, depending on certain things and who's buying and all that kind of stuff so uh, and, and it, again it's two different products two different products um, so let me uh, just say that uh, Hopefully this helped uh, resolve some confusion, answered a few questions, especially for those of you that have even bought a home before. Um, of course, if you, you need more information, feel free to reach out. Uh, also make a comment in the uh, video uh, of what you thought about the information in it. 
and if you uh, liked it or dislike it please hit the thumbs up or even thumbs down I like thumbs up mostly <laughs> if you're able to hit the heart hit the heart um, and also subscribe to this channel if this information is good for you uh, I definitely recommend it if you are new in the real estate investing business and you're trying to get your business going you definitely want to subscribe and put out a lot of gold nuggets here but more importantly you definitely want to get a mentor um, and I do offer coaching and mentoring services here at the real estate wholesale helpline in order to talk to me about it uh, you'll need to still get onto my calendar and the first conversation definitely is free uh, 30 minute consult click the link the real estate wholesale helpline and that will automatically you'll have to make a selection as to what slots I have available what will work for you and you put that slot on and I'll see it show up on my calendar and I'll know that uh, you and I uh, will be discussing your business and and things of that nature also uh, make sure when you do that that you download uh, the zoom app uh, because once you select the time uh, our conference will be a video zoom uh, video conference using the zoom app uh, so if you're technically not technically inclined it's still simple but I'm just letting you know you can you can you know chime into the video conference earlier and just make sure your system's all good to go and then um, at the time of our meeting just be be on time um again this is sammy duke real estate wholesale helpline i hope uh, you appreciate this information and um, look forward to uh seeing you in the next video and until then i'll see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded Hey, hey, Sammy, do the do back at you. Hey, uh, are you smelling what I'm cooking? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You like these golden nuggets that we are dropping at you? Well, if you do, please like the video that you just seen. Also, subscribe to this platform. You can do that by hitting the red uh, subscribe now button somewhere here or there. Uh, look for it. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would encourage me to continue to put out uh, more content like this. And uh, check out my library of other videos as well. Also, don't forget, if you need to set your appointment, the link is in the description, Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And until then, I will see you at the top, because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless. Sammy, doom, 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 out.